Olá pessoal, do you know how to say I know in Portuguese? And did you know that in Portuguese there are two verbs that are equivalent to know? No? But you will after today's class. Welcome back to Plain Portuguese, where you learn how to speak like a Brazilian. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and catch up on the videos you have missed. Today you learn that Portuguese has two verbs that are equivalent to know. Saber and conhecer. You'll learn how they conjugate in the present tense and also when to use each of them. Vamos começar? Let's start with saber. Repeat after me. Saber. Saber. Mm -hmm. This is how it conjugates in the present tense. Always repeat after me. Eu sei. Você sabe. Ele sabe. Ela sabe. A gente sabe. Nós sabemos. Vocês sabem. Eles sabem. Elas sabem. Uh -huh. Muito bem. Don't forget. It is eu sei. Repita. Eu sei. Eu sei. Uh -huh. Well, use saber in two specific contexts. First, when you want to talk about facts or information. Um, as if you were, for example, in a... Trivia night! <risos> Bem-vindos. Primeira pergunta. Qual é a capital do Brasil? Eu sei. Você sabe qual é a capital do Brasil? A capital do Brasil é Brasília. Correto. <risos> Próxima pergunta. Quantos estados há no Brasil? How many states are there in Brazil? Hmm. Eu sei, eu sei. Você sabe quantos estados é no Brasil? Eu sei. 26. Correto. <risos> Última pergunta. Qual é o idioma oficial do Brasil? Nós sabemos. sabemos. Vocês sabem. Uhum. Nós, Nós sabemos. sabemos. Qual é o idioma oficial do Brasil? Português. Correto. <risos> well, the next time you ask uh, for information, use Você sabe. Você sabe. Let's say you want to know what day is today. So you can ask me. Você sabe que dia é hoje? Repeat. Você sabe que dia é hoje? Or if you want to know the meaning of a word, let's say chimarrão. Você sabe o que significa chimarrão? Você sabe o que significa chimarrão? Or if you want to know how much something is. Hmm? Ah, você sabe quanto custa um pão de queijo? Você sabe quanto custa um pão de queijo? If you know the answer, eu sei. 
Ele virou não? Eu não sei. Repita. Eu sei. Eu não sei. The second context where saber should be used is when you talk about skills, abilities, as in I know how to sing. Eu sei cantar. Or Você sabe falar português? Ele sabe tocar guitarra. Ela sabe dançar. Ah, they know how to have fun. Eles sabem se divertir. E você? What do you know how to do? O que você sabe fazer? O que você sabe fazer? Tell me in the comments below. I'm curious as you know. Our second verb that is equivalent to know is conhecer. Remember the pronunciation of the sequence NH if you don't watch that class. So repeat after me. Conhecer. Conhecer. This is how it conjugates in the present tense. Eu conheço. Você conhece. Ele conhece. Ela conhece. A gente conhece. Nós conhecemos. Vocês conhecem. Eles conhecem. Elas conhecem. Uh -huh. Now, you will use conhecer and not saber when talking about a personal experiences, like places you've been to, people you have met, a, a song you have heard before. There is something um, always more practical and not so intellectual involved. For example, some years ago, I went to Maceió and I visited the city, the beaches, so I know Maceió, you know, meaning that I've been there. So, eu conheço Maceió. Yes, there is this personal experience, I've been there. Eu conheço Maceió. Mm -hmm. Ele conhece as cataratas do Iguaçu. So, he's been there. He can give you some travel advice about it. Ele conhece as cataratas do Iguaçu. Um, hmm, this song. I've heard it before. I know this song. Eu conheço esta música. Ah, nós conhecemos esta música. I know that you know this song. Nós conhecemos esta música. Mm -hmm. So, um, a person that you have met, you can say, Ah, Beatrice! Mm, eu conheço a Beatrice. Eu conheço a Beatrice. Well, if you, if you want to know if I have been to a place in Brazil, you should ask me. Você conhece Manaus? Um, você conhece o Pantanal? However, if you only want to know if I know where those places are, você sabe onde fica Manaus? Você sabe onde fica o Pantanal? Hmm. And a classic answer would be um, I know what you're talking about, but I've never been there. Like, sei, mas não conheço. Yes, I heard of it, but I've never been there. Sei, mas não conheço. Today's tips. Oh, today there are two tips. Today's tips are about two expressions with the verb saber. The first one um, means 
No say, we don't have the answer to a question, but in a stronger way. However, depending on the intonation, it can mean something like, I don't know and I don't care about it. Yes? So, as a stronger no say, supposing that someone asks me where a specific street is in the city and I never heard of it before, I don't know where it is. So, I could say, like, mm, no say. Or in a stronger way, sei lá. Mm. Onde fica a rua Odorico Paraguaçu? And I just made it up. Onde fica a rua Odorico Paraguaçu? Sei lá. Never heard of it before. Sei lá. Yes. Now, the second meaning of sei lá, depending on the intonation, yes, it can give this, oh, I don't know and I don't care about that. That's indifferent. Um, let's say that it's Wednesday and you ask me the weather forecast for Sunday. Come on, man, it's only Wednesday. Sunday? So then, qual é a previsão do tempo para domingo? Oh, sei lá, it's only Wednesday. Sei lá, and I don't care. <laughs> well, the second expression, you know the idiom, um, you know what? Yes, that you use to emphasize what comes after after it or to get someone's attention. You know, like, you know what? I'm hungry. In Portuguese, you can say, Sabe de uma coisa? Estou com fome. Repita. Sabe de uma coisa? Sabe de uma coisa? Mm -hmm. So, um, if you want to tell me, you know what? I'll study Portuguese every day. Sabe de uma coisa? Vou estudar português todos os dias. Ah, uh, you're hungry. Like, you know what? I'm hungry. Sabe de uma coisa? Estou com fome. Sabe de uma coisa? If I were you, I would share this video with my friends. Everyone should have the pleasure of learning Portuguese. Thank you for watching another class. Don't forget to subscribe and leave your comments and questions below. They are very important for you and me. See you next time. Até a próxima. Tchau.